Hey guys, it's Jonathan. So the VIX trap, it really happens every week. And what that means is options decay over the weekend. Okay, so even though the VIX is going higher, options decay every single weekend. And normally we close on Friday, options are gonna decay Saturday and Sunday and reopen Monday. And what usually happens is the VIX goes lower on Friday and then pops up a little bit on Monday. But here's what I want you to see right now. So it's midday, still three hours before the close, but the VIX is up to 15.6. And that's the highest that it's traded since, you know, November. Couple that with gold rallying like crazy, oil in play, 10 year at rates that we haven't seen in a while. I don't trust this market one bit. So the fact that the VIX is going higher as we go into Easter weekend, right? So Friday's closed, Saturday's closed, Sunday's closed. So if there was equal supply and demand and the VIX was at 11, the VIX would be downtrending right now because professionals don't wanna hold options over the weekend. They don't wanna hold theta when they can't manage that theta over the weekend. So they really try to de-risk and they de-risk by covering options or by selling other options. The fact that the VIX is up 4% today, up to 15.66, it's a lot stronger than even this number says because it's naturally supposed to decay going into this holiday weekend. So that's the trap. That's what we want to avoid. And it's always good to keep your head up and look at the calendar. Prepare knowing that it's the Easter weekend, knowing that we have three days. So tomorrow, you probably don't want to be a buyer of options at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, because you're buying them and then you have to pay for them for the next three days. Okay? Something to watch out for. Now, I always get this question, well, Jonathan, is there a way to make money off this? Can we sell options on Friday and buy them on Monday? That's getting a little cute. Okay? No. You really can't do that. Everyone in the market knows this happens. It's one thing though, you gotta recognize. Recognize this and you can prepare for the week because if the VIX was going lower and was at 12, 11, you wouldn't really wanna hold options or start fresh options positions. Right now with a 15.72 going into the holiday weekend, what I want you to realize is there's a lot more risk in the market than even this number is showing because it should be decaying and it's not. So if this is on a Monday, not on a holiday weekend, I would think the VIX would be like 17 or 17 half. Okay, hope that helps. Think about it. It's a different perspective, but it's something that it's common sense when you think it through. Okay, thanks guys. Jonathan, Active Day Trader.